In this video, we'll discuss how to implement all the functionality of KDE Connect on our Linux Mint. Let's get started. By the way, if you're not familiar with KDE Connect, KDE Connect is software from the KDE community that allows you to connect your phone with your computer. It enables you to send files, sync clipboard data, access your phone's notifications on your PC, and more. First, you need to download the KDE Connect software onto your computer. Open your software manager and search for KDE Connect and install this KDE Connect software. Click the Install button, then continue and enter your password. Now you also need to download the KDE Connect app on your mobile phone. You can simply download it from the Play Store. Once downloaded, open the KDE Connect software on both of your devices and grant the required permissions. Now you will see available devices on your phone, click on the device name, then press the Request Pairing button. Now you need to accept this request on your computer. And make sure both of your devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. After accepting the request, your devices will be connected. You can share files using this option and explore all the available features here. Now, let's copy some text and paste it to our phone. Let's copy this and paste it into our phone. Now, let's do the reverse. I'll copy this text and paste it into my computer. But first, you need to send the clipboard data. Swipe down and click on Send Clipboard. Now you can paste your text into your computer by pressing Control V. Now we will install a few additional softwares to access some extra features. Currently, when you right-click on any file, there's no option to send it to your phone directly. Although you can send files through the KDE Connect software by clicking on Send Files, this method can be somewhat inconvenient. Now, locate the Action software in your Applications menu. In the Action software, click on the Download button and search for KDE Connect. And install it. After the installation, go back to the Manage section and select the Send with KDE Connect option. Then, Click on the plus button to enable this extension. Now when you right-click on any file, you will see a new option, Send with KDE Connect. You can easily send files to your phone using this option. You can see how easily we've transferred the file to our phone. Similarly, you can send files from your phone to your PC. Simply navigate to the file you want to send, then click on the Share button. Here, you'll see the KDE Connect option. Click on that, and you'll see your computer's name. Click on your computer's name, and your file will be transferred to your PC. By default, these files go inside the Downloads folder, which you can access from there. And here's our image. Now we need to install one last extension. Open the Applications menu and search for Applets. Click on Download and search for the KDE Connect applet. Download this KDE Connect applet. Once downloaded, go to the Manage section and enable it. After enabling the extension, you will see this new icon in your taskbar. It allows you to easily view your phone's battery percentage, ring your device, and share files, URLs, texts, and more directly from your taskbar without needing to open the KDE Connect software. Next, let's enable notification access. This allows you to receive your phone's notifications instantly on your PC, which is an incredibly convenient feature of KDE Connect. It becomes particularly helpful when your phone isn't nearby, like when it's charging, and you receive an important message such as an OTP. Open your KDE Connect mobile app and select Notification Sync Options. Then tap on Open Settings. 
Find the KDE Connect app in the list and grant it notification access. Now, we're almost done. Return to the main screen of KDE Connect and feel free to explore other options like mouse receiver and contact synchronization. Once you've finished, close the app. You're all set. From now on, whenever you receive a notification on your phone, it will also appear on your desktop. This feature comes in handy, especially when you're busy on your computer. Plus, you can even reply to messages directly without having to switch devices. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Pressing the thumbs up button would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.